Hi, it's David here, CEO and founder of the Freedom Founders Mastermind community. It's so common in life to find those who had a vision for getting to the top of a pyramid, the top of a mountain, that being higher education, higher, higher level of skill sets. Well, that's what we were all taught, were we not? We were taught to go to school, get the best education possible, become the doctor, lawyer, engineer. Uh, those have always been the staid professions that were deemed to be highly respectful and also to provide a lifestyle that few others could have. And for many generations, that there's a lot of truth in that. But the models have changed immensely today. You know that, I know that. We've got higher cost of living. We have what I call the sunk cost fallacy. Going into certain professions, and particularly the one that I chose, dentistry, has some of the highest capital costs of any other profession. You think about lawyers or accountants, uh, they have very little in, in actual cost for setup, lease space, but think about all that we have to put into it. The educational costs uh, are immense today and the, the cost, the debt for that student, the student loans just goes up and up and up. The return on the actual investment, well, it's diminished over time. There's no question about it. Uh, with, with so much in the way of compliance, regulation, uh, in the case of, of dentistry, so much uh, insurance, and private equity are have been taking over and consolidating the industry. It's very, very difficult for the individual who thought they would be uh, a, an individual and a soloist or an entrepreneur out there in space to not have to uh, join up with the, the larger throngs, uh, the private equity, the consolidators. Uh, it's very, very difficult today. Uh, the pressures are immense. In fact, there's really, I think, an aspect to the economy and the way that the country wants to govern this economy is if they could put small business out of business, they wouldn't a heartbeat because they want the control. So what do we do with the sunk cost? The sunk cost fallacy is what I call it. We have so much time and effort and capital and risk into one area. And it seems like to get out, we have to throw a Hail, Hail Mary, right? The Hail Mary pass, right? Throwing it up, throwing it up in the air and just hoping it comes down and somebody catches it that's on our team. That's a tough way to live life. And I know the frustrations uh, deep inside, the frustrations we can't even communicate to our, our better half, our spouses, uh, certainly not to our kids because we have to be the strong ones. We have to be the ones to, to carry that weight and act like it's all good when inside we feel like we are just on a hamster wheel spinning and spinning and spinning. And with it goes peace of mind, lots of extra stress on our health. Uh, it's not a position that most of us thought we'd be in. I certainly had the benefit of having other crises, not my own, but my family, my daughter's health situation, and the fact that I was very curious early in life about being a better steward of money. Didn't know what investment was, didn't what, know what an investor was. I didn't even know where to invest. But by being curious, I read books about assets, tangible assets, particularly real estate, and kind of built my plan B out of the gates actually before I became a dentist. So part of my story has to do with being willing to experiment and even willing to fail to get to a better place, different than most other people. So I am different in that regard, but I'm no different than you in the same level of frustrations that we can have in life. It's just, I found a way to exit sooner or at least take the pressure off. It's what we do in Freedom Founders. So many people come with ideas of, well, I can, if I just do this, if I just, if I get involved and I buy some Airbnb properties, just to go back to what everybody was doing the last two or three years coming out of COVID, that's the answer. That's the answer. Or the real estate syndications, it's a place to go because everybody's talking about these big multiples and these IRRs, inter internal uh, rate of return on various investments that people have made. And they go, that's where I need to go. Or it's crypto or look, I'm not saying those things are bad, but you have to understand the model the economic cycle is changing, has been changing rapidly the last 18 months. And whatever worked in the past, whether it's your business model, your investment model, your 401k, it's all right now up in the air. And the worst thing, my opinion, that anybody can do right now is just stay the course. Just assume that we'll get back to some normal normalcy because it's gonna be far from that. I predict a lot of volatility going forward and that's gonna frustrate more and more people. You need a game plan that you had regarding your finances, just like you had with your practice. You got help, you're in study clubs, you talk to other people, you get CE. What are you doing about your finances? Yeah, other than just Hail Marys, right? You've gotta do the same thing with your finances, but there's no place to go, is there? No one ever taught you, no one trained you. You think your financial advisor is supposed to, supposed to be that person, but 
He or she, with the best intentions, only has one model to, to quote, sell that puts food on their table. And they're incentivized to do the best they can, but they can't give you the entire picture, can they? No. You've got to take some steps forward on your own. How do you do that? Well, there are places you can go. Freedom Founders is one of those that we've helped hundreds and hundreds of dentists in the same position, business owners, high income, high net worth people to actually build a plan with measurable milestones and some level of certainty that they can't get anywhere else. And that helps change the decisions that people are making right now that probably get them deeper in the hole, deeper into more sunk costs that they can't get out of later. Making some bad decisions when you're in your late 50s, mid 50s, early 60s, making some bad decisions there, very difficult to overcome. You've got to put a reinvestment in yourself. You've done all the investing up to this point in yourself, the studies, your practice. What about your financial future? Have you invested there? I don't mean just putting money in, in some investment. I mean investing in you understanding what you're doing and making better decisions from there. It's all about your freedom, but you're going to have to take the reins and go forward. Are you ready?